right up to in Addicts. So we're back at it again. This beautiful RX8. We're here with Kifa. So basically, what's your story be? What's your story behind the car right now? Well, honestly, when I had the RX8 engine, I actually used to daily the car. So this car was a daily car. And boy, every single day, it was just a smile on your face to daily this car. I mean, it hurt the pockets a little bit, but I mean, that, that was no problem. Um, so eventually, you know, I started to look at videos and see people sending stuff with other stuff with people doing Jay-Z swap and stuff like that. So I told my dad, I was like, yo, I want to do a project with the car. So he was like, all right. And then, well, after that, I changed my mind. I was like, nah, I'm going to sell the car and I'm going to buy an RX-7. So he was like, why are you doing that? He was like, this car is, you know, one of a kind. You know, you really like your car. Don't do that. So I went back and I think about the whole situation and stuff. And I was like, you know, boy, he was actually right. Let me look to see what I could do different. And that is when I was like, you know what? An RX-7 engine would be a righteous thing for this car. And from there, that's how I ended up going about, finding out about it. And well, this is where we are today with this engine. Um, so basically the engine is, uh, it was previously the Renesis engine, the 13B. And I swapped it with the RX-7 Tijin engine, uh, Series 6 engine. Um, yeah, the engine basically has a large street port um, unbreakable seals and well that is, that is as much as it goes for internal alright no problem uh, anything special external wise like the turbocharger intercooler anything you can tell us uh, basically you, you upgrade on that system as well um, so basically the turbo that it have in the car right now is a GT35 turbo at the time when we was building the car I, I just that was the, the most suitable bet for me at the time because I mean, I know kind of get into it, so you're learning now and then, learning now and then. Well, but um, I don't really know about RX and Rotary and whatnot, but I know the 35R Turbo is a <laughs> very nice street turbo. It is, it is. So, I mean, this thing is supposed to be really performing. <laughs> well, after this, this turbo, I was planning to, by the end of the year, to organize to get a Borgona because I realize that a lot of people rating up the Borgona and personally I find that it is a good turbo. So right. right, understood. I mean to me it's personal preference. Some like precision, some like FP Borgona. At the end of the day once it get the job done, right? Exactly. Um moving on from that, we have upgraded injectors. So I'm running 2000 ID and 550. That is right now for the power that I'm making. I have uh, 850 to add on if it is I wanted to increase the power but as it is right now it's just to mostly feel out the car see what the car doing and up from there just to help it after that That car is working! <laughs> So 
Mario Andrade and Tati was scored. Ten pounds of boost. People. And oh my goodness, the car, the suspension, everything. I want one way. <laughs> Boss. Way boy. This this car is really nice. Really nice. But it, it has nice control progressively. The boost comes in. I mean, I, I love it. I love it. Being on the highway. It's smooth, smooth. I could, this car feels like it could daily, as you're hearing me clearly. You have not have AC. <laughs> you have not even have AC, right? So, wow. So, this exhaust system, what is it we're running on this car right now? Um, so, right now, the car has a pretty exhaust system, a cut back system. Um, pretty while it, it, it does the job, it performs good, but I, since I do the build, I always wanted to go with a single exit. So most likely, very soon, you will be seeing the single exit on the car. Alright man. Well, hmm. I don't know what to say. The man still have upgrades to do on this beautiful machine. Boy, enjoy life, yes? This beautiful rear wing in the back here. Holy shit. <laughs> What what's what's up with this wing? <laughs> well, honestly, before when the car was stock, um, stock rims, everything, I actually had bought a, a spoiler, a cheap spoiler, and I kind of just dig the, the look that the RX had with it. And when I finished building the car, actually, I was like, nah, it's like something missing, and I was like, wait, it need a bigger wing. So I went looking, 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 and I saw the carbon wing, and when I saw it, I just fell in love one time, and I was like, I have to have that, and well. No, you seen it on the car. This bonnet here, bro. What is going on with this bonnet? Well, honestly, as anybody know, the rotary cooling is something that y you need. So, with this engine, that's how I end up putting as a single turbo. I decided to go with a vented hood. So, it had options where I could have buy. Um, aftermarket hoods and stuff like that and I was like you know what I'm gonna make it different I'm gonna do something different I want to keep everything originally car but still make it different so I ended up actually cutting the um, the bonnet the job was done by extreme body kits wonderful job um, big up yourself and from since then I have no complaints the car have been running cool it actually works pretty good and that's basically it extreme body kits Oh, let's do wicked, bye!